because the standard of applications was so high, the judges have awarded two equal winners for most innovative CSR project. The, the first winner of this most prestigious innovative CSR project is Diageo. The Arthur Guinness Fund supports leading social entrepreneurs in delivering measurable change to communities around Ireland and the world. Diageo Ireland is investing in Ireland's future by backing people with a business head and a social heart. A fitting tribute to Arthur Guinness and his legacy. We're absolutely delighted from a Diageo point of view and from a Guinness brand point of view to win this award. I think what's different and innovative about this is it's the marriage of the brand objectives with the corporate social responsibility objectives. And I believe in relation to the Arthur Guinness Fund, we've managed to get the two things to work in tandem. Um, they're working both in terms of what we're doing in the area of social entrepreneurship, but they're also very heavily supported by the Guinness brand. I think they're absolutely enormously important awards. What we're talking about in the Arthur Guinness Fund is 250 years of leverage, 250 years of history. But we have to think about where are we going, and I think it's important in terms of going, going forward, to use a cliché term, that we have something that's, that's leaning into that, but also is very progressive and very dynamic and certainly very innovative, which the board demonstrates. And the other innovative CSR project award goes to... For Food for Simon, Jacob Fruitfield. Jacob Fruitfield, Food for Simon with the Dublin Simon community, is an initiative which encourages the food industry to supply food to Dublin Simon free of charge. A stock management system implemented by Jacob Fruitfield has enabled Dublin Simon to establish a basic ordering and stock control method system. What's happening is a number of major suppliers are going to give us food uh, in terms of just making sure that's a kind of a, a corporate social responsibility effort rather than charging us for the projects we're going to get for free. Well, in an environment where you know, government funds are, are dwindling and where it's important that NGOs like ourselves have the money to be able to provide the services, I think it's very critical. I think it's a great recognition of what all the NGOs do, whether it's Dublin Simon and all the other people who are involved in homelessness and other great achievements. I think it's just one amazing achievement for us and one amazing recognition from all the people here who represent major corporations. It's just a tremendous achievement for us.